Okay, so continuing our work on indefinite integrals. As it gets a little trickier, um, here's a problem here, and I've heard, um, seen like really cool techniques that some of you are using. Try them, and I, like somebody had said on a problem similar to this, they said, well, what if we partition this? And we took this over this, and then this over this. Would that still work? Yes, it will still work. I'm gonna do mine a little bit differently, if you don't mind, but just look at this for a second. If you have e to the negative x over e to the x, you have e to the negative x minus x is e to the negative 2x. And you would have 4 over e to the x, which would be 4 e to the negative x if you brought that up. So let's see if we don't get to that same place. The way I'm going to do it is just by starting with a rewrite here. So here's my rewrite. My rewrite looks like this. Oop, always forgetting, I'm sorry. Because I'm going to take the indefinite integral, and I'm going to take this e right here. So this e to the x right here. And I'm going to bring it up as e to the negative x. Right? Then I'm just going to leave all this the same. So this is e to the negative x plus 4 dx. And then, of course, I'm just going to distribute this edge. And I'm going to distribute this to here. Then to here. This is just algebra, isn't it? And then let's see what we get from all that mess. And what we get is we would get, remember, that's x to the m times x to the n is x to the m plus n. This is the rule of exponents I'm using. So we have same basis. So this would give us e negative x plus negative x is negative 2x, isn't it? Plus 4e to the negative x dx. Okay? All right. Then if you don't mind, I would like to integrate by parts a little bit. Uh, so what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take I'm going to take this first piece right here. So what I'm just going to grab this these pieces. I'm going to take this this piece right here. I'm going to do this piece. I'll do it in green, I guess. And now I'll take this piece right here and integrate those pieces. So it would look like this, I think. So the indefinite integral of e to the negative 2x plus are you kidding me? Like an idiot. Okay, I was just going to do that part in green. And then I'll do this part in yellow here. So, plus 4, I'm going to take this, I'm going to factor this part, 4 times the integral, indefinite integral of e <coughs> to the negative x. And these should both be dx. So, dx here, and of course, dx here. All right? So then I'm just going to start working on that a little bit. You have to kind of remember how this comes out. Look, uh, here's the rule I'm undoing. This is not rule I'm proving. I'm undoing this. I'm undoing this. I'm doing this rule backwards. So, so, dun, 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 dun. so, as I start to integrate, this is equal to negative one half, right? The reciprocal of that e to the negative two x, right? Plus four times, I'm gonna integrate this, which gives us negative e to the negative x, doesn't it? Which gives us which gives us negative one half e to the negative two x negative times the positive, minus 4e to the negative x, plus c. I should have put my plus c up here also, sorry. Good enough, okay. So just to keep going here, what the book wants us to do uh, is to factor out, so if you don't mind, I'll factor out this negative 1 half. So negative 1 half times e to the negative 2x, plus 4e to the negative x, plus C. Uh, and that's my answer. Can prove all this through differentiation and just remember, just differentiate the inside piece here. Right, differentiate the inside piece here. And then multiply it by this multiplier here. We're at about five minutes already. I'm trying to figure out, do I want to continue this or not? 
Um, I'll tell you what, if you, if you want to see the uh, proof by differentiation, please ask me. You can put it on my comments and I'll gladly post it. Or if I'm lucky enough that you're my student, it's in the binder and just come and take a look at it. Or even better, if you want to, you come and, and, and post that for me. That would be fantastic. Okay, so really good work. And so this is our answer here. Good job.